Welcome back to the Lowe's Woodworker Shop class, where we're building this charming book castle project that's perfect for any kid's room. In our last video, we created the main bookcase assembly. If you missed that, you can go to lowes.com slash videos and get all caught up. This time, we'll be adding the skirts, trim, and nosing to our bookcase. Now, as you can see, we've got three different pieces of skirting around the bottom of our bookcase, and all of them come together at 45 degree angles at the corners. So, to start, I'll cut all of the pieces of skirting to length on the miter saw. Now, we want to do a 45 degree miter cut on each end of the front skirt. So, now what I can do is I can cut this arch section. But before you do that, test fit first. You want to make sure that the inside edge of the miter cut is flush with the width of the bookcase. I'll start by transferring the pattern to the wood using our grid method. Once I do that, I can cut it out with a jigsaw. I'll position the front skirt on the front of the bookcase by making sure that the top edge of the skirt is flush with the top edge of the bottom shelf. Then, I'll attach it using glue and nails. Now, the end skirts will be very similar, except each end skirt only has one mitered end, and that's where it meets the front skirt. So, I'll start by cutting the 45 degree angle on the miter saw and then lining it up. So, now we can go ahead and transfer our pattern and cut the decorative arch with our jigsaw. Line this end skirt up with the front skirt, and then go ahead and attach it with glue and nails. And then, we just repeat the process with the other side. The skirting's done, which means now we can carry over this design to the top of the bookcase by creating some trim. Now, you'll notice this bookcase has three pieces of trim, just like we had three pieces of skirting. We'll start with the front piece. This will sound very familiar to you. You cut it to length on the miter saw, and then we'll go ahead and cut the 45 degree angles on each end. Test fit to make sure it lines up correctly, then go ahead and transfer the pattern and cut the arch out with the jigsaw. Then, you can just attach it using glue and nails. Now, we'll come back to the end trim shortly, but let's finish the front. The front has two styles running vertically and two pieces of shelf nosing that run horizontally. We'll start by cutting all four pieces to width on the table saw and then to length on the miter saw. The styles should be lined up flush with the outer edges and then attached using glue and nails. The shelf nosing should be centered side to side and will overhang each shelf on the top and bottom by 3 eighths of an inch. Then, it gets glue and nails as well. Now, all we have left is to go back to that end trim along the top. Now, just like the end skirts, the end trim only has one mitered end. So, we'll go ahead and cut that 45 degree angle on the miter saw and test fit it. If everything fits properly, we can transfer the arch pattern, cut it out with a jigsaw, then take those end pieces, line them up with the front trim, and attach them with glue and nails. There we go. Looks fantastic so far. Join me next time when we'll create the sliding drawer for the bottom of our book castle. I'll see you then.